Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I have a third card in a series. Well, it's the second video. One of them I didn't end up filming, but you may have caught this one. It's one that I did with the new ornate garden series. And this one I did with the ornate borders. Um, and it was one that I did use the um, dyes as a stencil. And I did that with the watercolor pencils. It's up on YouTube so you can see it. This one I also did with um, watercolor pencils and I used, I think it's called Detailed Hearts um, and it's a giant stencil and it is also available, but I didn't do the video for that, but I did the exact same technique that I did with that one. So I sat down today and actually the um, card that I've already done, cause you know, if you watch my videos, I always, most of the time I have one done, sometimes I just wing it. Um, but the one I've done, I did do with the watercolor pencils. And then afterwards I thought, the I wasn't super happy with the colors because they weren't the exact same colors as the paper. So I decided I'd switch it up and I'm going to use our stamp and write markers. So the card's going to be switched up a little bit. I'm, the colors are going to be different, but I'm going to use the ornate thanks. And on this one, I'm going to use the, the frame set, which last I checked, it wasn't on back order. So I will check again and I'll put it down in the comments. So if you like this one, you can order the ornate borders, but this one, um, I think you can, it will ship right away. The other one's shipping in early May, I think. So here's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use these adorable note cards and they come, I have an odd assortment of them left because we use them at, at camps and classes, but I think that I think this is all of the colors, the blue and then these colors. So my first one I've done in the olive and then the paper that comes in the ornate garden suite is this little piece here. So you can see it matches three of the, the note cards. So let's go with, mm, I've already done the olive, so we'll see how that one looks. Let's pick from the other two. Let's go with this one this time. And then the envelopes, you can give them a different color envelope if you want. They're all super cute. They're little scalloped. So we'll get that note card. I mean that envelope. So what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it in the soft suede. And that was one of the other things I didn't like. If you look at this paper, this is my favorite side. Look, we're going to cover that up. I hate when you have to tape your favorite side, but this is the side that we're working with. Um, and this doesn't have any black in it. And my other card has some black, so I was kind of torn. So we're gonna do this one in soft suede and see if we like it better, because that's the color in the, the paper. And then I also have switched from white because I used white in my original card. So you're gonna kind of get to see, um, we'll see which elements we like best of both cards. So this is, this is so grateful. I'm gonna stamp it on the shimmery, shimmery white. And the first time I just used may have rocked that. The first time I just used regular white um, because that's what the cards are. But then when I was done, I thought um, that I liked that. I do like the faded look better with that than the stark black. I'm going to need that one more time to get the other words. But the thanks, the ornate thanks has so many different words of thank you cards that you can make. And right now I know so many of us are giving thank you cards. So we're going to, both of these dies I'm going to use are out of the same die set super beautiful. Um, so this one, I'm just, it's just a stitched square. I don't want it to go through speed bumps. So I'm going to turn it at, at an angle. And then I just have a piece of scrap that I'm going to make my stencil with. And again, I don't want it to go through speed bump and I want to have enough space on one side um, to put some washi tape. And it just, oops, well, it would have just taken one roll except I didn't have it straight. I didn't have my plate laid on there because I was looking at this hanging off the back, which was kind of bothering me. There we go. But it just takes one roll through. There we go. You can see that gets one nice roll through. So they have to be like this for a stencil, I will tell you. And then look how pretty that one is. Just a nice stitched pattern. Um, in my quest to do some more stencils, um, my spatial, oh, I don't know what it's called, spatial 
just my special head it doesn't work so well. And so sometimes I've been running these through and I'm like, yeah, that one's not gonna make a stencil because it pops out the wrong way. So just roll these through. You wanna be careful with these little heart ones here because you can get those. When you're using it as a stencil, you wanna make sure you get every last one of these little dots out. See those little hearts that you kind of bend. If you were sticking this on paper and you had one of those little ones in there, it, you could live with it. But you're gonna wanna make sure you have all of those little dots. There we go, so they're all out. If you don't have one of these, the take your pick tools, you need one. Okay, so now we're just gonna take this little piece here. This is the front of our card and it's the shimmer white. Um, and I want it to be down towards the bottom of my pattern. So I'm just gonna put this about there. And then I just have some old washi tape. And washi tape's great because it doesn't, it sticks, but it doesn't really stick. So it just peels right up. And this will just hold this in place. So just stick that there. And since I haven't done this yet in colors, I don't know what colors I wanna do. The brown's gonna be for later. So let's go with the poppy. See, I pulled colors out that match the paper, which in our watercolor pencils, I didn't really have those. And the last time I did the other card, I didn't have designer series paper that I was trying to match, so it didn't matter. So you just take your brush tip and literally just use this for a stencil. So with the brush tip, you don't wanna press really hard because you don't wanna ruin your marker. Just kind of get it in there. Just like that. And if you don't have the in colors that are the outgoing in colors, uh, much like the blueberry and the lipstick, I do have a card that I'm also going to show you. I'm going to film that video next. Then I use the lipstick. And then I have. Um, the Calypso Coral. And I'm gonna go ahead and I will color these in. Just gonna do the same thing on all of them. Just gonna use my big brush tip. But I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do that and then I will join you again when they're done. Okay, so this is my last color and it's the mint. So I'm just gonna fill in these last little holes. And you can do the colors. Obviously this isn't the exact same pattern. So you just kind of pick whatever you want and on these holes you're just kind of putting it in there and swirling it around and then when you're done you just lift this up and it on most of the stencils you could use them repeatedly this one with the hearts it's kind of kind of depend on how um that heart holds up so I have just been sticking these over on my um camera frame and then reusing them so now I like it to look a little bit more of the painted um stencil told kind of look so I've, on this one on the other ones i used my um, blender pen on this one i'm just going to go i'm going to start with my lightest colors and this is just a wink of stella and so i'm just going to blend it just a little bit so by just smudging it on there it just pulls the color out so i'm going to start with the lightest and then let's go to the next you can see it's better on these darker colors than you could on the yellow. But it just makes it a little bit more of a paint feel. And I'll do this, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm almost done here, and it has started to, um, it got all the way dark while I was filming. And it started to rain, which is better than this morning. There were a little bit of flurries out. And yes, it is April 15th. And there shouldn't be flurries, but you know, we're not going anywhere. So when you stay at home, it doesn't really matter. Although I, I was hoping I could get a swim in this morning. And in the winter, it's fun to go out and swim because it's refreshing. It's kind of depressing when it's April 15th. So you can see I have this little um, piece of paper here. The only time that I squished any of this off was in between my red and my greens because I don't like to waste my Wink of Stella. So you can see now just by adding that, that it um, kind of spread it out too, so it wasn't so little. So now I'm gonna take the saffron um, marker that I have, and I'm gonna take my little tiny bullet tip, 
And I'm just going to add some definition to these so it doesn't get lost in here. So just add a little lines. And this is a dainty one. If you watched my other video, those that die was a whole lot bigger. But this kind of gives it the pattern doesn't get so lost. It gives it a nice definition. And it's super simple. You're just literally adding tiny, tiny little lines. On the other ones, I used a blend. And on my first one today, I used a um, our Stampin' Journalers, which on my last video, they had dried up and I had had some on order and they weren't here. <laughs> so they have since gotten here. And I used them, but then I'm not now I'm not using them on the video. So really anything with a fine tip will work. I don't know if you guys can hear it raining. It's really raining. And it definitely got darker in here. So it may appear that I've changed lighting because I will have zoomed in on this, but I didn't. God did. There we have that. Then I'm going to take this little thing because I don't want it to be plain. And let's take, I think I might go with the mint. Because this is different than my other card. I'm just going to take these open spaces of the designs. Because these letters have open spots. I'm just going to fill those in with a little bit of mint. I did the same thing um, with the um, watercolor pencils, and I, you can do it with blender pens or, um, I mean, the blends, whatever you're using. Now I'm going to take, this is so grateful. And then I have this and it says from the bottom of my heart. And here's a little tip. I'm going to put it here, but I'm going to do this first because if I happen to mess up my stamping, then I can move this down a little bit lower and I can do it again. So I'm going to start this a fraction high, which is a tip for you. Because sometimes the words are the things that we mess up when we stamp. You can also put it in your stamparatus, but it's a photopolymer, so it's not difficult. but especially when I don't want to stick my head over the camera. So just make sure you press, don't rock it. There we go. But that way I could put it here and I could move my saying around, but we're good. We've got that. And then one last little thing we have been, um, for some reason, we've been on like a 1990s kick with our cards recently, me and my girlfriends. So here's another thing that we used to do because we didn't have dies. We didn't have folders. So, you know, we did a lot of stuff with what we did have and we did have the markers. So we used to take our markers and we would just draw on the stitching, which now we have these cute little stitches, but this card just kind of needed something to fill the edge. And this does come with a really pretty folder, this set. But I didn't, I wanted this to be the star of the show. So just take your, the tip. We've already used it. And since we've used it, I decided to just go with it. So on my other one, I did dots because I also did it on there and I'm not going to do it on there because I thought that was a little much. So sometimes I put one, sometimes I put two. It's just kind of a little country 1990s kind of look. But sometimes if, you know, it's the simplicity of it. You know, we used to do this a lot. My daughter's back into cross stitching. My niece has been doing it. So now that everybody has a little bit more time since we're not going out to the movies and we're not going to parties and we're not seeing friends, some of what's old is new again. So there you go. And so it just kind of fills out the area and it didn't take anything fancy. Then I did want to add some of the really pretty ribbon that comes with this. 
So there's these two ribbons and you just need a tiny bit. It comes in a little bundle and you can see it matches both the fun scalloped cards and it matches the paper. And now this all matches. I'm so much more pleased with the colors because the other ones were just a tad off when I went with the watercolor pencils because we don't have them in those exact colors. So just need a little snip. And then I'm also gonna get a little snip of our um, white tool. It's about that much. And then grab a glue dot. And take one glue dot on the end of your tool first. You don't need to have, know how to tie a bow to do this. And just make a loop here. And get another glue dot. Where are they? And then make another one. So then you're gonna have two loops of this. Like that. And you, they, they can be the same length or they don't have to be, it doesn't matter. And then I want this to kind of show from under here. So now that glue is gonna go through and it will hold it there. And then same thing with these, just grab a glue dot. So if you don't know how to tie a bow, this is perfect for you. So if you kind of get it, so it has, it's holding this together, but it will also have a little bit left to hold on the, the paper. Like that, because we're gonna put a dimensional over the top of it to hold it all in a second. And the same thing with the olive piece. Just grab it like that. So now when you flip it over, you can see you're gonna have this little fun little tuft and it didn't take any um, ribbon tying abilities. So then grab your dimensionals and stick one right over that whole heap of ribbon. Now keep it all nice and in there. And then just the rest of it, about three will hold it. It's kind of a long one, so you want one in the middle so it doesn't get smashed. There you go. Now let's put the rest of it together. So when this folds down, it's already pre-scored, the little note card. So you can see it has this little thing here, and that's where we need this tiny little piece here for. And you can see this way, I'm going to not have as many flowers. So I wanna make sure when I adhere it, I put it this direction. And I'm gonna take my beautiful sog that is beautiful. And um, there's no adhesive in that, which I did know. If I have a full one somewhere, that's not it. So we're gonna go old school again with Fuse. But anytime you cut a, a tiny piece of paper and only a little bit, bit of it's going to show, make sure this one just is kind of more hacked. And since a little bit of it's going to show here, now we're going to get more flowers as opposed to green. So flip this over. How many of you still have um, excessive amounts of fuse? Because they had a great sale on it. And I do like it. I just don't usually use it on my videos because you can't buy it anymore. So how sweet is that? Is that just not the sweetest? Okay, so here's this one and here's the card. You can see it's, it matches all of the colors nicely. So here's that one. And then here's the other one that I did. It's very similar look, but this was with the watercolor pencils and really it was the poppy. It needed to pop um, and it didn't, ha we don't have mint either. Um, you can see the, the stitching on this. It didn't really need it there. The black would be okay. Um, this has black down here. I think overall, I'm more pleased with this. And of course, anytime I use shimmer white, I end up being more pleased. White overall on a card to me is just kind of stark. The shimmer white always tones it down a little bit. But I mean, both of them are sweet. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I do have another really fun much more detailed card coming up with the Ornate Garden. And then if you um, want to watch a fabulous weekend with some of my fun stamping sisters. This weekend, starting on Friday night, we'll have a session Friday night and then most of the day during the day on Saturday, not Saturday evening, you can um, 
message me and get the code and it's just going to be a private Facebook group where we have lots of demonstrations and that's for people who are not Stampin' Up! demonstrators demonstrators I can't talk if you are a demonstrator then the following week we have an event for you so there's two different events coming up I'll put the links to those down below in the video or if you're on Facebook then it's all over the place so you'll be able to find it or it's also on my blog so there you go everybody have a great day and stay safe bye